morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the Pastors. It's uh, Tuesday, which means it's Theological Tuesday. And so on this steaming hot day where it's hot as Hades, we couldn't help but uh, ponder a little bit and thought it might be fun to uh, do a little theological review of Hades or hell. So uh, I'll hand it over to the theological expert in the room, Anita. <laughs> Anita? No, it's Audrey. Oh, oh. It's Audrey. So interestingly, there's a couple words that are used, especially in the New Testament, to talk about this place of judgment. Um, and they are kind of culturally significant. So they are translated as hell in the English language um, for most of the words. Um, but, but the two main words that are used in the New Testament, one is Hades, which should sound familiar, and one is Gehenna. And so, of course, Hades shows the um, Greco-Roman influence on Christianity where um, this place of the underworld where the, the dead souls go um, is referenced as as a a place an afterlife place in the New Testament. Um, the other place, well, I should say, Hades is kind of it doesn't have the same kind of loaded um, judgment assumption as some of the other words. Like Hades is just a place; it's not necessarily a judgment place. The other word, as I said, is Gehenna, which is um, a, a way of talking about the Hinnon Valley, which is the valley that's right next to the mount that Jerusalem sat on. And um, this is a, a place where it was believed that some practiced um, child sacrifice by burning them. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, it eventually um, is named unclean because of, of that, those practices and um, obviously it, it being an example of when, yeah, Yida really is not happy about that practice, uh, uh, when Israel was not faithful. Um, so it eventually became a place where like the garbage of Jerusalem um, would be put, and it was just this gross place of constant burning trash, um, decomposing by worms. So it's, not only is it an unpleasant place, but it's kind of a, um, it became associated with a judgment place because of the way things are destroyed. And so when we talk about hell in our culture, we often picture it as like burning heat. <laughs> and that's why you get for it say, <laughs> sayings like it's hot as hell today. <laughs> um, it's because of its connection with this place, uh, Gehenna, um, or the Valley of, of Hinnon, where this constant burning trash um, just sounds like a lovely place. <laughs> Definitely not a place you would want to spend all of eternity. So, I'd say. Yeah. So, there's your thrilling Theological Tuesday on some of the theology of health. Nice, Audrey. Yeah. Thanks for that. It's a cheery topic for how your about, Tuesday. How about on a, a, a lighter note? Okay. Um, what did the sun say to the trees? I don't know, Tim. Why are you always throwing shade when I'm around? Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Have a wonderful Theological Tuesday, everyone. That's right. <laughs> Stay cool. <laughs>